And the county is now looking into reports of increased GI illnesses in the South Bay. Two doctors say they've noticed an uptick in cases that appear to coincide with heavy rains, which push that raw sewage and the toxic chemicals across the border from Tijuana. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens explains. We're down here by the border. We have a huge underserved population. Somebody needs to speak on their behalf. They need a voice. And that's exactly what doctors Kimberly and Matthew Dixon are doing. They are the co-owners of South Bay Urgent Care. Something has changed over the last two years. There's so much sewage coming across the border and into our community that now people are getting sick without going into the ocean. And that's really the thing that scares me the most. The Dixons say when there is a big storm, they see a significant increase in patients with gastrointestinal diseases. They started tracking it last August after Tropical Storm Hillary. We're down here boots on the ground, so it triggered an alarm for us because normally we'd see five patients. All of a sudden we were seeing, you know, 500% more patients with diarrhea. Dixon says that trend has continued with the most recent storm on January 22nd. And now if we have sewage in our community, on our streets, in our parks, and you drive through it or walk through it, and then you touch, you say your shoes, you take your shoes off at the end of the day after you walk through an area, and you then go make dinner without washing your hands. That's how people get sick. I reached out to San Diego County about this. Officials tell me doctors and emergency rooms here in Imperial Beach and across the South Bay, they're not seeing an uptick in these types of diseases. But county officials tell me they are working with the clinic. The county is using Dixon's data and doing their own research. Officials say they have been working with the urgent care since September and will finish this week. We have some very smart researchers at UCSD. They're interested in our data. They're looking at the correlations as well. Um, so more people interested, hopefully we can come to a solution. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News. And the doctors hope to get the attention of Washington, which may find the funding for a permanent solution.